What's up, y'all? What's going on, YouTube? Reason Out is back once again, baby. And yes, I got it. The straight up greatest game ever created. Not just my opinion, but it's funny that I actually agree with that because I have a hard time agreeing with that about anything. Even Ocarina of Time, which was just tremendous. But this is truly, in my opinion, the best game ever created by human hands. And uh, <clears throat> no surprises, Nintendo. Anyways, no, no, no disrespect to Sony and Microsoft. I'm just saying. Uh, man, this game. I have only gotten uh, to the second world, uh, the Elden Volcano. Okay, so this is not a review. I haven't played enough to review it, but I've played enough to, first of all, know it's the greatest game ever created. I'll give you a few reasons why. All right, check this out, y'all. This game has the best controls ever configured, programmed, constructed, conglomerated, put together, whatever you want to say, assembled for a video game in the history of video games, okay? The motion controls are spot on, one to one motion with virtually no lag whatsoever, okay? For those of you who say, oh, well, there's some lag. No, 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 no. It's impossible to do a one-to-one -one motion game. I don't care if you're talking about Kinect, PlayStation Move, Wii, or anything else that might be out there. There is, an, it, It's impossible to make a motion control game where what's going on on the screen is at the exact same time in space that you're doing it. Because that would mean the game is reading the map. It's not possible. You need to do inputs, whether it's button or motions, for the game to respond. But when I say virtually no lag, I mean straight up virtually just about no lag. If I do this, Link is doing this right there with me. Up and down in circles, all the way across the screen, however you want to control it. The sword fighting is phenomenal. Yo, uh, the, and, and it's funny because we, because of those spot on motion controls, the enemies are so much tougher. Because even something as simple as those spiders, I don't know the name of them because they have so, so many different names throughout the series. But those huge spiders that come down hanging on the web and that started really in Ocarina of Time that you had to hit them for them to turn around or, or swing them around so you could find their weak spot. Back in the day, they were easy. Hit them once, they swing around, hit them again. No, this time, you have to whack them a certain way with your sword, and depending on which way you whack them, that's which way they'll swing, and while they're swinging, they're twirling, and then you gotta just time your strike just right as you see the soft spot or the weak spot swing right by you. So even that has, has just become challenging but satisfying when you fight one of these enemies, man. The, you know, the skull, uh, um the Stoffels and other enemies like that that actually have swords and shields, man, it is just an epic event every time you come across one of them, let alone a pack of them, and you gotta fight them off. And another thing that I love about this that they brought back from the old school, man, if y'all remember Zelda back in the day, in the NES Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, um, The Legend of Link, there was always this thing that when you had full power, when you hadn't been damaged yet, when you swung your sword, you know, when you pressed attack, a, a, a beam of energy or light would come out of the sword, and kill you know opponents in front of you so you could get them from a distance they brought that back which is awesome and what's even more awesome is that you don't have to have full energy to do that in this game there's a there's a move called the skyward uh strike or the skyward slash and what you would do is literally hold your wii remote up in the air straight up and link will hold his sword straight up to the heavens and it would just get charged up with this magical energy and when it's fully charged you can swing it down, left, right, however you want to swing it. You can do like a tour or whatever. It unleashes a wave of energy in that in that same pattern that you did it, which takes out your enemies. So they brought that back and they modified it. Uh, the graphics. What a beautiful game. I, like many, had hesitations about this game when I first saw the art style released over a year ago. Uh, you know, coming off of Twilight Princess, which was just grimy, you know, more based in reality. It was still a cartoon, but it was more grimy, more dark, more real. Uh, this is a lot more colorful, a lot more Wind Waker-ish, but it also has got some of the elements of Twilight Princess in there. It's a perfect marriage of both. So it's a colorful, vibrant, beautiful game, but it's, it's just you got to see it in motion, man. A lot of reviewers have said that, and I, I have to agree. It's this kind of game that you got to see in motion to really appreciate. When you see it in motion, forget the screens, the screenshots, and even the video reviews. You can catch a glimpse of it there, but when you play it live in front of your face, Man, I'm telling you, this is the most beautiful game I have seen ever, if not in a very, very long time. I'm talking about Mario Galaxy 2 and up type stuff. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, the music. Big fault that Twilight Princess had. 
no real score, no orchestra, no real instruments playing the music. All computer generalized music, which was garbage. This one took the Mario Galaxy treatment. There is an orchestra playing the actual soundtrack for the game. As you're playing, you could tell that this was recorded in a studio. It was recorded high quality, real instruments. Just epic soundtrack, man. And I'm only, if I had to, I heard there's about seven to eight dungeons in the game. And a vast overworld. I'm only just got to the second world. Haven't even got to the second dungeon yet. And I've already heard a, 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 a plethora of just ear-pleasing, gorgeous music, man. That just fits the Zelda universe so great. Um, what else? Graphics are off the chain. Sound is off the chain. Controls are just epic. And the story in this one is wonderful. A lot of people complain, oh, there's no Ganon in this one. I kind of like Ganondorf, so I, I, I kind of have a gripe with that, that he's not in the game. But I already fought because, you know, spoiler alert, for those of you who don't want to, I might have said too much already, I'm sorry, but spoiler alert, in the, in the first dungeon, you do fight the boss of this game. Uh, like a, one of those preliminary meet the boss fights where you don't really get to kill him and he doesn't kill you, but he shows you how much of a badass he is. And, uh, yo, even though Ganon's not here, this dude is a badass, okay? Um, I forgot, Lord Girahim or something like that, that's the name, Girahim, something like that? He's a beast. Uh... The, the boss battles, are the one that I fought so far, epic. The controls, not just are they great, but the things that you can do. Throwing bombs, rolling bombs, uh, the beetle, which is this new item that is like this, uh, this beetle that's latched onto your arm that you aim it wherever you want. Motion control, of course, and you launch it, and then you can pilot that thing around the environment to hit hard to reach switches, bring you back items you could never even see were there. Uh, just amazing, amazing, bro. Um... It's not much else to say, man. It really is better than Ocarina of Time. Not by a landslide. Ocarina of Time is, is a work of art, man. But this is a step above it. I got the same feeling playing this for the first time that I got when I first played Ocarina of Time. And slightly above that, like I said before, it's just incredible. My Skyward Sword richly deserves its 10 out of 10 rating that so many websites have given it. I did come across one website, which I've always thought has been a joke ever since I first came across this website back in the day, and they proved to me again how much of a joke they are. GameSpot, horrible website for reviews. They gave this game a 7.5. A 7.5, really? Really, are you serious? A 7.5. A the guy reviewing it said that Link often looks down and the controls get all whacked out. I'm going to tell you like this. I've been playing this game. I got it launch day at 12.04 a.m. The first copy in that local Walmart that I go to was mine. And I got it home. And ever since then, by the end of Sunday night, I had played it six and a half hours. Okay? I kid you not. Not one hiccup in the controls. And I have an old school Motion Plus, Wii Motion Plus, that you have to attach the controller. So mine speed up a little bit. And in Wii Sports Resort, and sometimes in Red Steel 2, it's known to bug out a little bit. Because I don't have the one with the built-in uh, built Wii Motion Plus. Still not a problem. Not one hiccup. GameStop is full of garbage. They're talking about all oh, that. It, it, it sticks to a lot of the strengths of the franchise, but a lot of the weaknesses. Newsflash, this, this franchise has no weaknesses. It never has. Name me one weakness this franchise has. The only one that some people can come up with is, oh, it doesn't have uh, audio voice acting. It has text boxes. So what? Who cares? I, I, I don't care one way or another whether a character in my game auto, audibly talks or if I have to read his text or what he's saying. I don't care as long as the story is engaging and the dialogue is good. So there you have it, man. Skyward Sword is just phenomenal. My little boy's right here. Tell him, Junior. Say Zelda. Say Zelda. Ah, he's a Mario fan, you know what I'm saying? He likes Mario. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, that's it. Say it again. Play Mario. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, man, there you have it, man. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Just an I, epic game. <laughs> just a phenomenal game, man. 10 I out of 10 might. for sure. I can give it a 20 out of 10 if I had the chance. No, don't touch the screen, Bubba. Don't touch the screen. You know what I'm saying? So holla back at your boy. Leave me some comments. Subscribe. As soon as I get towards beating this game or beat it, which is going to be a while because this game looks huge. I'll let y'all know what my review score is, man. But it's, it's already a 10 out of 10, so I ain't got much to say. But I'll review it in more, more in depth, man. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Say Zelda. Say Zelda. All right, say Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. There we go. All right, y'all. God bless.